What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you setting up a file sharing server into Ubuntu server so that you can share files and folder locally into your network. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so guys, right now you are watching my computer screen. Now, first of all, I'm going to click on start and search for CMD and open it. Then using the CMD, I'm going to get a SSH connection into my Ubuntu server. So here I'm going to type SSH, then my server username, which is vserver, then type the at the rate and your Ubuntu server IP address in my case 192.168.0.245. Then press enter, then give your root password, then press enter. Okay, so guys, now I am logged in into my Ubuntu server using this SSH terminal. Now, first of all, what you need to do, you have to update all the packages of your Ubuntu server. So here I'm going to type sudo app update, then press enter, then give the password, then enter. And it's going to take some time to update all the Ubuntu server packages. Okay, so all packages are up to date. Now, what you need to do, you have to install the Samba package so that we can create a file sharing server using the Samba. So here you need to type sudo app install Samba then press enter, then press Y and enter. Now this command going to install the Samba package into your Ubuntu server. And using this Samba package, we can create a file sharing server into our Ubuntu server and we can easily access that file sharing server from our local computers. Okay, so Samba package has been installed successfully. And now here you need to create a directory what we are going to use as a file sharing server. So here I'm going to type mkdir and here I'm going to type a file or folder called share. Okay, now if I type here ls, here you can see here we have a directory called share. Now change your directory to that folder. Here type cd share, then press enter. And now here type pwd, then press enter. And it's going to show you the path of your share folder. You have to copy this path from here or take a note of this path. Now we have to make some changes into Samba configuration file. So here you have to type sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb.conf type this command this press enter and now it will open the samba configuration file into our terminal you scroll down to the end now into this terminal you have to paste all of this text you can pause this video and write down everything like me now go to the top and from here you have to change the name whatever you create the folder as here i'm going to change the name as share you can keep this comment now from here you have to change the username to your username in my case vserver then the folder name which is share in my case now you can keep it read only no and browsable yes then press o enter and control x now type here sudo service smbd start then press enter and after starting the Samba share, we have to create a user account to use this Samba share. Here I'm going to type sudo smb passwd, then type dash a, then the username of your computer. Here I'm going to type vserver, the username of my Ubuntu server, then press enter, then give a password. Here I'm going to type a password, then press enter, then retype the password again, then press enter. Okay. Here you can see the vserver user has been added to our Samba share. Now if I open my Windows Explorer and from here if I right click on this PC then click on map a network drive and here you need to type the IP address of your Ubuntu server slash the share folder name. Here I'm going to type double slash then 192.168.0.245 then slash then the folder name which is shared then click on finish then it's going to ask you the username and the password type the username vserver and the password whatever you set then click on ok now guys here you can see we have access into our shared folder or shared drive now let's create some folder into this shared using our terminal here i'm going to type so nano sample.txt then here i'm going to type this is a simple file then control o enter control x here you can see we can easily copy any file from here or if you want to write or create any folder into this directory using the nest you can also do it here if i right click and click on new go to folders 
here you can see we have successfully created a folder now if i type here ls here you can see here we have the text file and the newly folder created using our windows computer so guys like this you can easily create a shamba sharing file share server from your ubuntu server so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe to this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm mehdi shakil you're watching this tech tutorial and i'm signing out